Hi, my name is Ben Nisbet, and the purpose of this short little video is to talk about how to professionally maintain and keep your racket clean. And at our store, we get a lot of questions about which cleaner to use, how to clean the racket, and really it's, it's, it's relatively simple. Um, one, I'm not a huge fan personally of, of cleaners and racket maintenance, but I think at, at some level it does make some sense. So uh, to answer the question first and foremost, and what's most important is that when you're playing a match, this is the most important time to have your racket surface clean. And to pull out the cleaner and to do this between points is not gonna work. So uh, the easiest thing and what you see a lot of the professional or good players do is they just cup their hand and they just blow in it, get a little bit of moisture and you're ready to go, your racket's clean. So if you see a little bit of dirt, and it's your between points or between games. Just do this. And now you have a clean surface and you're ready for the next point. When your cleaners and the protection sheets really come into good play is after you finish playing. And when you're ready to finish after your match or, or your evening out at the table tennis club or practice play in the basement or wherever, uh, these cleaners do come into, into good use. And what you could do is right when you're finished playing, and you could get into the practice of this, is just getting a cleaner, and this is a spray cleaner, there are many different ones on, on the market, and just spray the racket just a little bit. And you see how that's a little bit wet? You don't need a whole lot. And then you take a cleaning sponge. I like these cleaning sponges rather than the microfibers because this will pick up the dirt. And so I have three of them here, all from the same brand, but you can see these, these are readily available in most stores. You just take it and you just wipe it clean. And now you've taken off all the moisture. If you want to do the back side here. And if there's any residual dirt, it's going to get picked up and put on the sponge. This is a brand new racket, so there really is no dirt at the moment. So once you're done with this, you have your choice. You can either put this in um, a Ziploc bag or any kind of plastic or you can use a sticky protection sheet. And the sticky protection sheets are really good because they will rest flat here uh, and uh, they will not allow any airflow into the rubber. And then when you're ready to play, you can just peel it off and it'll also pick up any potential dirt that you may not have picked up with the sponge and take it off and you have a clean rubber sheet ready to start your play. And I really like uh, Victus uh, sticky protection sheets. It's not too sticky. Uh, it's well made and it's not going to gum up your racket. So we like this one. We usually give it to customers when they place orders with us for rackets. And so we're going to cut this open and we're going to show how we use it. It really almost comes like a glue sheet and it's a little bit sticky on the inside. And this is what you use to affix your racket and we just go here and we lay it down. Um, what I like to do here is we're going to use the curved scissors because you don't necessarily need to have it square and we're going to cut it to size. And I'm actually gonna cut it slightly larger so that it'll be easy to put down. And here you go. And we'll clean this up right here. And so now you have a sticky protection sheet that when you're finished cleaning, you can lay this flat, and then when you're ready to play, you just pull it off.